So in terms of types of weight loss surgery, in terms of bariatric surgery, the most common ones that are done in India is the sleeve gastrectomy and the gastric bypass. My concept is that the sleeve gastrectomy is probably the most likely and common operation where we remove a part of the stomach, remove 80% of the hunger hormone producing cells, the ghrelin, and therefore the patient A has early satiety as well as has decreased uh, hunger and decreased craving for food. The, the good part about this surgery is that the stomach, because it's a normal natural organ, eventually food passes through the normal GI tract, there's no realignment of GI juices or anything. At the same time, it does not remove any of the absorptive surfaces like the intestine. The intestine is the only absorptive surfaces. Stomach hardly ever absorbs food. And that is why when food passes through this, it gets absorbed mainly. So if done properly, sleep gastrectomy is a great option. In certain cases where you have a lot of reflux disease, well then gastric bypass is a good option because it not only treats you of your diabetes and your weight but also treats you of your reflux. So uh, weight loss surgery, there's a lot of misconception that you know we develop this huge amount of multivitamin deficiencies and long term we can develop cancers, we can develop liver disease, we can develop kidney disease. It's a whole lot of you can say unqualified medical information which nobody can substantiate. Today we do know that gastric bypass produces only three common vitamin deficiencies B12, calcium and iron and which every woman above 45 anyways needs to take because post menopause she needs to take just one shot a day. The other fact is that there is no protein energy calorie management with the sleeve or the gastric bypass. It's only with very few surgeries which are done in extreme cases like the duodenal switch or completely malabsorptive surgeries that all these deficiencies are produced long term. And most patients are educated about this and they're told far and above about these things. The other thing is that a fact that not too many people know about is that the most common cause of cirrhosis of liver today in the world is NASH, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. So it's beaten alcohol, it's beaten hepatitis as the most common cause of liver disease. And if a patient has a pre-existing liver disease, it cannot be blamed on bariatric surgery. Any complication of bariatric surgery as is commonly misplaced in media because there's really lack of knowledge about this surgery, even amongst doctors, is that something that happened eight, nine, one year back uh, after bariatric surgery, oh, it was bariatric surgery. Please, I mean, this is absolutely incorrect medical truth. Please understand that if you've done any surgery, if there's an acute immediate complication in the next week or 15 days, I understand, but not long term. And the same with bariatric surgery. None of these complications, none of them has any iota of medical truth behind it.